Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Apologies if you can hear the rain. It has just started chucking it down outside pretty much as soon as I pressed record it just started chucking it down so I'm really sorry if you can hear the rain. So it is that time of the month again. It's time for my monthly favourites. We are actually almost halfway through April. Um, I just wanted to film some Easter content for the channel so the monthly favourite kind of took a little bit of um, a, back, a seat on the back until my Easter content was finished. So it is time for my monthly favourites for March. I actually can't believe that it's April and like this year is just going so, so quick. So yeah, let's jump in to my monthly favourites for the month of March. So first off is a song. I've been really getting into my 80s phase again. When I was a teenager, I went through a bit of an 80s phase and that's kind of coming back. So my on repeat song for this month has been Hold Back The Rain by Duran Duran or anything off the Rio album. I absolutely love it. It's just like you listen to music now and then you look back to music from like the 80s and the difference is just so stark and I just love the 80s. I love the music, I love the aesthetic and yeah I've just had that song on repeat in the car so <laughs> that has been my favourite tune this month. My favourite book for the month of March was actually this one that Jack and Emma got me for Christmas. So this is the big book of Serial Killers by Jack Rosewood and co-author is Rebecca Law. So this is jam packed and it took me about three months to finish it because it's obviously very dark. It is about true crime and serial killers and everything like that. So I didn't read all of this in one go because it's quite dark and it does play on your mind a lot and it's a very, very heavy book. So I had to take my time reading it but I did find out that there is a volume two so I am going to be picking that up at some point but I do have a fair amount of books that I want to read before I start buying more so that was my favourite book for March. Favourite game, um, me and Tom got the PS2 back out and I picked up all of the old Harry Potter games so I got Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban and Goblet of Fire and it just brought so much nostalgia and happiness to my soul. Like I just started playing it and the sound effects and what I can remember from playing it when I was a kid. Like it was just insane to me. Like how much you cling on to those things as you get older and you remember all those different things. So it was a really nice experience to get it back out and play it and play it with Tom as well um that was really cool because he didn't play those games a lot as a kid but I did so it was really nice to kind of share that experience together so next is clothing and there isn't really a specific item that I've bought in March that is technically my favorite but I've been really getting back into wearing dresses obviously it's chucking it down well, it was it's now sunny again the weather can't decide what it wants to do um but i've been really enjoying wearing dresses and just feeling a little bit girly and i can't wait for summer where i can wear like maxi dresses and everything like that it just makes me so excited there's just something that makes me feel super whimsical and happy about wearing a dress because i usually wear t-shirts and leggings pretty much 24 7 so I'm pretty excited to start wearing dresses again. So TV, we haven't really found any new movies or TV shows. Um, I did mention a YouTube channel last month and I'm gonna do that again. So I found a YouTube channel called Morgan Long and she is very similar to um, Darling Desi who I mentioned in last month's um, favorite video. Um, and she has very similar aesthetics. She loves books. She loves going out on adventures. 
and there's just something about watching her videos that is really comforting and I love watching them. I've gone all the way back to her first videos and I'm watching them backwards basically. Um, so I've gone all the way back to the beginning of her YouTube channel and I'm now working my way to the most recent video. I'm quite far behind. <laughs> I'm still on videos from like two years ago but that's okay because I'm really enjoying watching them. So next is fragrance. So I mentioned that I'm using the Idol Aura perfume. I have nearly run out of that. So I am now on to Coco by Chanel. Obviously this is quite expensive. I usually get this as like a birthday or a Christmas present, but there's just, the smell is just so nice. This is Coco Mademoiselle, actually, I should have specified. Um, so this is the bigger bottle that I have. And then my mum actually got me a little smaller bottle as well for when this one has run out. I'm using this every day currently because I have asked for a new perfume for my birthday. So I'm using this up to make room for the other perfume. But it just smells so nice. It smells floral, it smells fruity, it smells a little bit masculine I'd say as well. But it just smells so good and I love how simple the bottle is as well I think it's really really cute. Favourite place we haven't really been able to afford to go to new places this month um, for lots of different reasons but we've been using that as an excuse to kind of explore our local area it makes you really appreciate what's around you you know we've been going through our local park which we do quite a lot because it is literally across the road but we've been just standing there and appreciating what's there rather than just like walking through we've actually been taking what's there in around us and it's been super nice just to appreciate the nature around our house for what it is i mean we have an amazing view right outside our house we see trees every morning when we wake up and i can't wait for summer when all the flowers are in bloom everything's green again and we get to wake up early and watch that out of our window. It makes me so excited. So that has been our favourite place this month, just outside of our house and appreciating everything that's around. So that was my monthly favourites for the month of March. I can't still believe that we're in April now. Like Easter's been and gone. So yeah, I just can't believe how fast this year's going. So if you have enjoyed this video then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We've got a tiny tiny little community on this YouTube channel and I hope that I can grow it a little bit more. So if you want to join then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!